Hello guys, hello, welcome back to the channel, we's back, and we are reacting to Victon's Howling, and I'm excited because I really do enjoy Victon, um, I think I re filmed a reaction for Nostalgic Night, um, which was like their first release in such a long time, um, but I didn't put it on YouTube, I know, I'm really bad at like filming a video and not uploading it, it's a bad habit, but I've been trying to break it, and I've doing, been doing so- I've been doing good so far, but this time I have decided I am going to put this video up at all costs. And yeah, I'm also really excited because Sungwoo is back with the boys. And if you didn't know, Sungwoo was um, part of X1, which was the group formed from Produce 101 uh, season four, season four, right? Um, wow, it's been a lot of pretty seasons, and, um, unfortunately, X1 has disbanded because of the whole Mnet situation, the scandal, whatever, and it's really unfortunate because they only had one debut, and they didn't even get their first comeback, and they just disbanded, and it was really sucky. Um, but, you know, at least Sungwoo has a group to come back to, and he's back, and I'm excited to see him because I missed him a lot in Nostalgic Night, and yeah. So with that being said, let's just get right into this, and let's go. And I only know Sungwoo's voice, or face, and I know Bangchan, no not Bangchan, Byungchan, sorry. Okay. He looks really good. The black hair looks really good on him. Ooh, starting off with the map. Ooh, I like their outfits. Oh, he's blood free. <laughs> He's beautiful and I can't remember his name. Oh. And there's my other bias. Ooh, that we've seen. It. This sounds really pretty. Also, I watched the stage and Byung Chan was like him sitting down. Is he okay? What happened? Oh my god, this is the good. Oh, that was gorgeous. This music video is really pretty. I love his rapping style. Man, is his hair red? You see that great, that pop girl. Like, the chorus sounds different than what it leads into. You know? Does that make sense? Ah, oh, his whole thing is beautiful. I love the, like, Fast and it's called Howling, and I saw like some wolf eyes, so I'm assuming this, he's the colored hair, what's his name, I can't remember. My voice. He like gives me straight J-Bone vibes. See, it feels different than what you're gonna get. Why you why you do that? 
Oh my god, I'm getting flashbacks. I'm triggered. <laughs> because of, oh, freaking, if you guys remember, God 7's fly music video when Jin Young jumps off the building. <gasps> oh my god, but that was without the, oh, he was running to the edge, wasn't he? He was running to the edge just to fall off at the end. In the beginning, he runs towards something. But I didn't know there was a ledge. And at the end of the music video, it ends with Sungwoo diving off. And I'm just like, ah, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Anyways. But the song, I really like Victon's music. I don't know. I feel like I was there when Victon debuted. And I loved the stuff that they were doing. It was more of like the cutesier boy concept. Um, but I just loved that kind of stuff. And then I think they came out with like eyes, eyes or something like that. And I remember it wasn't like my favorite. And I think at that time I kind of like forgot about them. Or they maybe went on like a hiatus or something like that. And I didn't see a lot from them. Um, but I this, is, this group is like a group that I kind of like... Um, fell back in love with because I was in love with them like during their debut and then I kind of like kind of lost my way with them forgot about them didn't like hear from them and then I watched Nostalgic Night and I was like oh and then I was like oh okay I see you guys and I think I there was another song that they had before Nostalgic Night um, it was Time of Sorrow, so I remember when that came out, I was, I was like, oh my gosh, I remember them, and like, I like that song too, and I think Nostalgic Night was after that, but that was the one that kind of like, reignited my love for Victon, um, and now with this one, um, I really feel connected to them, I don't know, like, this song was really just beautiful, and like, the way like from the rap to the singing to the music video i don't know maybe because it was sung maybe because sungwoo was back um i was able to connect to him i don't know um i love all the members um but sungwoo is like he was my fate like, he was my bias in the beginning when i first like got into them and like he's still my bias now um but i definitely like um have other members catching my attention but since sungwoo's in it i feel like i was able to like appreciate i don't know like i don't want to say because he's in it like i appreciate them more but like it's just you know because that's my bias like he's in this you know um but nostalgic night was just amazing but this song too um but byungchan i know and then sejun lim sejun he is another limb so he like i said he gave me he's, he gives me major jaebom vibes um and he is a limb so lim jaebom and lim sejun I see you there but he had been catching my attention so he is part of like my bias so some was like my main bias but then i'm also i also really like sejun and then i also like chan so i really like chan and sejun and sungwoo and then all of them are just amazing pyeongchang i know and then there's subin and then there's hanse which he is a, a talented talented rapper i shall say I'm always captivated by his rapping skills. Um, and then there's also um Sung Sung Sik. Sung Sung Sik. Um, but yeah, he has a beautiful voice. I know in Nostalgic Night he like I was like, Oh, okay buddy. I see your voice. Um, but another great release. I really liked how soft and like peaceful almost it was, like I don't know, I like kind of like, it, it almost seemed like dramatic, but like a soft kind of dramatic, I don't know, but like the chorus, like when it leads up into the chorus, it sounds like it's going to go in a different direction, but like, like it sounds like it's going to be like hard hitting, but then in the chorus, it like softens up, I don't know, like it's a soft chorus and it just sounds beautiful where the vocals can shine and like the members can shine and like that one scene with the glitter where Chan is like in the center and like eventually like the rest of the members come that scene uh, the best scene gorgeous like the music video was beautiful the like beautiful oh my god victim 
they just never disappoint, honestly. I don't know. I have just been loving everything that they've been coming out with. And I really appreciate them because they've been out since 2016 and it's now 2020. So it's been almost like four years and like crazy. And I'm proud of them. And I'm excited to listen to the, um, to the rest of the album because their B-signs are so, so good. I remember after I watched Nostalgic Night, I kind of went on a whole, like, victim binge because I hadn't, like, really listened to them in such a long time since their debut and everything. And I realized that they have amazing B-sides. Um, I can't remember, like, the album, but, um, let me see if I can find it because the, that album has such good songs, bro. Like, such good songs. Um, let me look it up here. Wow, I'm being such a victim hoe right now, but you know what, they deserve it because they're amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, I can't remember which album it is, but it's either the 2016 Voice to New World album or the 2017 Ready album, which I know I said earlier that Eyes Eyes wasn't really like my favorite comeback from them, but the B-sides in it, like I have, I'm on my Spotify right now, and I have In The Air um, liked, um, but that whole album for me was Chef's Kiss and also Voice New World album, their, I think that was their debut album. That one was also really good. Amuro, Tian, and Chop. I think that's how it says du, 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 du. the one with man oh my god i'm sorry i'm getting in like a victim right like spiel spiel um but yeah those two albums definitely check it out if you haven't um because they're amazing and talented and so good and victim deserve all the hype and the love and i really hope that they gain more attention because they really have like the whole package like they're creating amazing music and they're super beautiful and super talented and oh my god and Sungwoo, oh my god I didn't really talk about Sungwoo too much but he absolutely killed me he looks so good beautiful he's I just appreciate that man and everything that he is because he is this fine specimen a fine specimen yeah anyways Sungwoo Lovebot ending but yeah they, that was my reaction I hope you guys enjoyed and um, see you guys in the next one. Stand victim, please. Pretty please. Okay, bye.